Everything in this world is connected in ways we can and can't see. Here is how the Amazon affects us all. The first thing is carbon storage. Tropical rainforests store about 250 billion tons of carbon. Clearing the Amazon rainforest will release a lot of the stored carbon, leading to further temperature increase, as if we need more of that. Forests help us mitigate climate change to an extent. Burning the Amazon rainforest, first of all, it's a bad idea, but it has significantly increased carbon monoxide emissions, which endanger health of the people and other species. The second thing is rainfall. Trees release water vapor in a process called evapotranspiration, which eventually creates clouds. The rainforest creates its own rainfall. Since water has a high specific heat capacity, it also absorbs a lot of the heat in the atmosphere. So the Amazon has a great cooling effect. It's estimated that 70% of South America's GDP is produced in areas that receive rainfall or water from the Amazon. These important services are called ecosystem services, which nature provides to humans for free. Third important thing is biodiversity. The Amazon is home to millions of plants and animals. It houses about 10% of the world's biodiversity. Each unique species has its own ecological role and contributes to ecosystem services, which people depend on. Biodiversity makes the Amazon resilient to change, and all species are crucial to the functioning of the rainforest. Most importantly, the Amazon is home to 1 million indigenous people and about 400 tribes, each with their own unique language and culture. Now, I lived with the Sequoia tribe in the Ecuadorian Amazon for two weeks, and that experience made me realize how crucial the rainforest is for humanity. Many of the Amazon tribes identify with the rainforest and have infused sacred worship and rituals into elements of nature. They realize that they are a part of nature, and protecting the earth means protecting themselves. They are masters of their ecology and their surroundings because they know each and every plant and animal intimately. They've built relationships with them because they depend directly on them. These forest cultures provide different answers to the question, what does it mean to be human and alive? The tribal people of the Amazon are examples of how humans can live in harmony with nature, unlike us modern and civilized people. We must learn from them for a sustainable path into our collective human future. The Amazon is a medicinal warehouse. With about 16,000 tree species, there are thousands of medicinal plants in the rainforest. An estimate states that 25% of all pharmaceuticals have at least one plant ingredient. One of the most fascinating and potent medicines found here is ayahuasca, which translates to vine of the soul. Most of the forest tribes have independently developed their way of consuming ayahuasca in long ceremonies. Ayahuasca is considered extremely sacred and has extensive protocols to consume it. During the ceremonies, the participants can receive visions of alternate realities and they undergo serious introspection that allows them to learn more about themselves. There have been numerous cases of depression being cured by ayahuasca, but it requires the right setting and the right shamans with the right intentions. We do not fully understand the medicinal potential of the Amazon, and yet we're destroying what could possibly save us. This is a hundred-year-old shaman named Don Cesario who I met during my stay there. He conducted two ayahuasca ceremonies which altered my consciousness and showed me new realities. Elder shamans like him are passing away and no one wants to follow that life path. So they take away libraries of spiritual and ecological knowledge with them and modernity is accelerating this loss. Cultural loss translates to environmental loss in the Amazon. If the Amazon is gone, we would lose centuries of traditional shamanic knowledge which has been passed down orally and that really holds the key to elevating human consciousness.